Use 10 to subtract Lesson 3.7. Getting to 10 in subtraction can help us when finding a difference. If we get to 10, we can use a tens fact to find the difference. We can use this method to subtract with mental math. Here we have 13 minus 5. We break the 5 apart into a 3 plus 2 because in order to make this a 10, we need to take 3 away. That means one of the add-ins that will make this subtrahend needs to be a 3. So we subtract in steps. We do 13 minus 3 is equal to 10, making the 10. Then we go from the 10 and subtract that 2 that's left over. That gives us 8. So here are the steps. We have 13 minus 5. Here we have 13 gems, and we need to take 5 of them away. We break apart this subtrahend into 3 plus 2 more. We break apart the subtrahend into add-ins that will help 13 become a 10. So we take these 3 away, and now we've made the 10, so you can see right here, by taking that 3 away. We still need to take away two more. So we subtract the remaining addend as 10 minus 2. Now we've taken away 5 and we're left with 8. So we know 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. So let's try a couple more. Here we have 17 minus 8. We need to make this a 10. That means we have to take 7 away. That means for the 8 we're going to break it into a 7 plus a 1. Then we're going to do 17 minus the 7 to make the 10. Now we need to take away that one more from the 10. We have 9. 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. Here we have 14 minus 8. We need to take 4 away from the 14 in order for it to be a 10. That means one of the add-ins that makes the subtrahend needs to be a 4. And 4 plus 4 equals 8. And we do 14 minus that first 4 to get the 10. Now we have to take away this other 4. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. So what we're doing is we're breaking apart this subtrahend into two numbers, like a 7 and a 1, that with the first one, when we take it away from the 17, it'll make a 10. And with the other number, it will be taken away from the 10 that we made. Okay? Let's try a couple more. We've got 11 minus 7. We need to take 1 away from this 11 to make it a 10. That means we need to break the subtrahend 7 up into a 1 and something else. Well, that would be a 1 and a 6. So we take away this 1. We make our 10. Now we have 10. We need to take away the other number, the 6. We have 10 minus 6. That's equal to 4. So 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. Let's try it with this one. We have 15 minus 8. We need to take 5 away from 15 in order to make it a 10. That means one of the numbers that we're going to break the subtrahend into needs to be a 5. So we're going to need an, a 3 to make an 8. We take this 5 away from the 15 to make our 10. Now we have 10. We need to take 3 away from it. That gives us 7. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. How many do we need to take away from 16 to make a 10? We can look at a place value chart. We have 1, 10, and 6 ones for 16. We can count back six times on a number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That brings us to a 10. So 16 is 1, 10, 6 ones. We're subtracting the 6 ones so that there would be a 0 in the ones place. What do we need to subtract from 12 to make a 10? Well, we would need to subtract a 2. That means the subtrahend needs to be broken up into a 2 plus a 5 to make a 7. So the first thing we do is we ask ourselves what we need to subtract from the menu end to make a 10. And how much of the subtrahend will be left over after we make that 10? We took 2 away. Now we're at a 10. We have a 5 left over, so we subtract that left over from the 10 we made. 
12 minus 7 is equal to 5. When you get good at this, you'll be able to do it with mental math quickly in your head. Mrs. Kim baked 14 cookies. She gave Emma and Tala the same number of cookies. Now Mrs. Kim has eight cookies. How many cookies did she give to each girl? So we think Mrs. Kim baked 14 and now has eight. She gave the same amount to each girl. 14 minus some amount that she gave to Emma and Tala is going to equal 8. And we can think of the related addition fact, 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. It's our fact family. The number that's missing is a 6. So she gave away 6, but we're not finished. Now we need to break the 6 apart into a doubles fact because she gave the same amount to each girl that totaled 6. So we need to split the 6 into two same amounts. 3 plus 3 would work. That means each girl got 3 cookies. Do you see how we solved this? We used a related fact, but we weren't finished. Now we had to figure out what two numbers that are the same amount would equal 6, and it was a doubles fact. There were 16 bees in a hive. Five flew away, then two flew away. How many bees are still in the hive? We think there are two ways to solve this problem. We know our important numbers are a 16, a five, and a two. The five and the two is what flew away. The first way is we subtract 16 minus the five that flew away, and we get a difference of 11. Now, we have to find the two more that flew away from the 11. 11 minus 2, that would equal 9. So that means there are 9 bees still in the hive. Now, here's the second way to solve this problem. We know that 5 flew away and 2 flew away. We just combine the numbers that flew away. We know a total of 7 flew away. Then we subtract 7 from the 16. 16 minus 7 is equal to 9. So in the first way, we tr subtracted 7, but we did it first as a 5 and then as a 2. In the second way, we put them together and subtracted them all together as 7. We got the same answer. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Each side of an equal sign should show the same amount. We can write number sentences. Those are equations using addition and subtraction that show the same amount. 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 minus 1. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 6 minus 1 is 5, so 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 minus 1. Here we have 13 minus 3 is equal to 8 plus 2. We have a subtraction sentence that's equal to an addition sentence. 13 minus 3 is 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 is equal to 10. So do you see how we can write number sentences using addition and subtraction that will show the same amount? We need to circle two number sentences that show the same amount. We can solve each one to find which two show the same amount. We do 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 12 minus 7, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. 17 minus 9, well, that's equal to 8. And 15 minus 8, well, that's equal to 7. Now we can very easily see which two number sentences show the same amount. We have a 5 plus 3 is 8, and a 17 minus 9, that is an 8. That means 5 plus 3 is equal to 17 minus 9. Make sure when you're using a 10 to subtract that you use both parts of the subtrahend to subtract. Okay? Our next lesson, 3.8, we're going to use bar model drawings to show how to represent a problem to help us add or subtract. And I hope you're having a really great day, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.